Praise the Lord. My dear children, hope you are all fine at home. Today we are going to study chapter 2, second part. So last class we have discussed the first, first part of chapter 2. Let us begin with a prayer. Join your hands, close your eyes. Almighty God, thank you for being with us. We love you, we worship you. Fill our mind with Holy Spirit. Help us to understand the things which we are learning today. We keep these prayers to Mother Mary, to Lord Jesus. Amen. First part of second lesson, we have seen that historicity of Jesus Christ. Jesus born, lived here for 33 years and crucified and his resurrection. All this is mentioned in historical books. And many people, those who witness that, has written. So this was the expectation, fulfillment of the expectations. There were many historical testimonies which help us to grow in faith. We also discussed that why should we learn the historicity of Jesus to improve our knowledge about Jesus Christ and also we can clear the doubts of others. After that, we have discussed around five historical testimonies which are mentioned about Jesus Christ. Today, the second part of second lesson we are going to discuss about the historicity of Jesus Christ, the role of Gospels and early Christian community. How they were great witness or testimony of Jesus Christ. Let us start today's class that Jesus Christ in Gospels. Jesus Christ lived in this world that is reality, not myth. Because the place where he lived and the incidents, it is mentioned and the place still there where we can visit. The place where Jesus Christ was born, he lived, he crucified and his resurrection are there today also. And this is called Holy Land, where we can visit now. And some incidents also, which is mentioned in the, mentioned by historians. At the time of birth of Jesus Christ, Augustus Caesar ordered for census the old Roman Empire. There are so many description about this historical incident. Roman governor Pilate, he was governor when Jesus Christ was crucified. This is also an incident where it was me mentioned, the position. So all this are, these are the historical testimonies which clearly mentioned about Jesus Christ life. Jesus in Gospels. Four Gospels are written on Jesus Christ. All these four Gospels reveals about the life of Jesus Christ. It is written by his disciples and it is a true testimony about Jesus Christ because the disciples, they were with him. They saw them, they heard him. 
they experienced him. So whatever they have written, that is true. From their experience, they have written. Gospel of John, 21 chapter, verses 24, says like this. This is the disciple who is bearing witness to these things and who was written these things and we know the testimony is true. Why they know the testimony is true? Because they have seen him. They were with him. They experienced him. That is why the testimony is true they have mentioned. So for gospels written by Jesus Christ's disciples are strong evidence of his life. May another main testimony about this historical testimony about Jesus Christ that is the life of early Christians. Early Christians were the are the strong proof of Jesus Christ. A new community who believed in Jesus who was crucified and risen from the dead. The, that community started flourishing immediately. So this community started praising Jesus Christ. They started proclaiming about him. They started preaching about him. They started worshipping. And they were the true testimonies or the strong proof of the life of Jesus Christ. The early Christians were highly influenced by Saint Peter, Saint Stephen the Martyr and Saint Paul. Their intense faith in Christianity, Jesus Christ, influenced them very high. So they started preaching Jesus Christ. They started following them. Saint Peter, Saint Stephen and Saint Paul. And they were called Christians first in Antioquia. The way early Christians were lived were influenced by other people also. Their intense faith in Jesus Christ, their worship towards Jesus Christ, when they preach about Jesus Christ, many people started joining them. So the number of Christians in started increasing day by day. Many people started believing in Jesus Christ. So they were the strong believers of Jesus Christ and they are the strong proof of the life of Jesus Christ in the first century. A true historian cannot deny the historicity of Jesus Christ because so many historical testimonies described about Jesus Christ. And the first class, I just explain about that. History is divided into two by the birth of Jesus Christ. Many people, they are qualified for making history. Many people have place in history, but no one influenced history like Jesus Christ. Jesus was born in Mary and under the care of Mary and Joseph. And at the age of 30, he baptized by Saint John the Baptist and he started preaching and he started doing miracles and many people started believing in him and his crucifixion and his resurrection everything has solid proof in the history that's why I said no true historian can deny the historicity of Jesus Christ life of Jesus Christ is inspiration of many people so Life of Jesus Christ should inspire us also. Many people started believing in Jesus Christ, seeing how the early Christians worshipping Jesus. They started getting up early. They were together. They started praising Jesus. They started preaching about Jesus because of their intense faith in Jesus. And they were highly influenced by the saints, that is St. Peter, St. Stephen and St. Paul. So by our deeds, 
by our words we can also inspire people or we can also attract the people who they never heard about jesus not only words our deeds we have to work for them we have to help the people so what jesus has done so we can attract people towards us that should be christianity so how jesus influenced other people how jesus inspired other people the same way we can also so let us conclude this lesson by revising all the major key major points which we have learned the first part we have learned about the historicity of jesus or why we should know about the history of jesus and we have listed out all the historical testimonies then we have seen that the place of jesus there in the gospels and about early christian community we have learned so all this all this giving a solid proof about the history of jesus christ how he inspired the people so this help us to increase our faith in jesus christ and he can we can we can make others to attract towards jesus christ so it's our duty and responsibility to preach jesus that's not easy first we have to accept jesus first we have we should have a faith in jesus that also intense faith in jesus then it is possible us to preach jesus and grow in jesus so let us conclude this lesson by a short prayer close your eyes join your hands jesus thank you for being us thank you for being with us fill us with your blessings and help us to preach your words and attract other people by preaching your word words help us to grow in faith help us to grow in you and we keep this prayer prayers to your mother mother mary pray for us amen